I don't know if I've ever been this excited to try out some golf clubs. We literally found a Scotty camera in the last video, but I Oh, that is smashed right down the middle of the You said five dollars a piece on the clubs. Yes, sir. Cool. We'll take one of them. Thank, Thank you. you God there. bless you. Thank you for your service. You bet. Whoa. That might be the coolest life ever. Yeah. Kind of need that. If there are real clubs down there too, that would be pretty epic. I don't know. They're cool. Though. Yeah. Callaway Mac Daddy and Cleveland 588. Cleveland's not in the best condition. Mac Daddy is pretty well mint. And they just need some golf balls. Yeah. Just a half a dozen for me today. Dollar <laughs> fifty. Got a super soft in there. Six on Z Star. Oh yeah. The Notre Dame one still in packaging. Mm -hmm. Well, dang, got Snell and two ERCs. Huh? How much you want for the little cast iron thing? Cast iron. 50 cents. 50 cents. Okay. I'll round it up to a dollar and then... I don't know if you guys have changed it's got 10 on You can just make it a dollar on this. Yeah. Huh? You can just make it a dollar on this. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm excited about it. that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, amazing how she looks like, just like my <laughs> grandma. She does. Awesome, thank you very okay. much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Good yes, luck with your sale. Have a good day. You yeah, too. Have fun. <laughs> Daddy got a surprise visit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm super excited about this. The Mac Daddy 2s are super easy to tell if they're in good condition because they kind of have like this weird uh, fencing stuff in there, kind of like the O-Works putters. Mm -hmm. And this one has it all the way down to the bottom. Usually you'll see it just up there. Nice. Also, that thing is amazing. Perfect. <laughs> An Ashley size skillet. <laughs> oh man, R500 series. All tailor made. R580 XD. <laughs> Hi. Good morning. Coffee gets me into the swing. <laughs> Coffee gives me the yip. <laughs> King Cobra FD. I don't know how to serve everything to you now. <laughs> I'll get it served. <laughs> gotcha. How much are your golf clubs? Those are ten a piece. The set is twenty-five. Okay. Giants. Do I get a discount? Um, uh, we both went to IU, so do we have to pay more, or we get a discount? <laughs> Gotta pay more. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny because my neighbor next door here, I first moved here, and I had a, pulled up and look at this house, and I had the Purdue thing on the back. Yeah. He tells him that guy who owns the house. He yeah. says they can't buy a house here. <laughs> <Purdue. laughs> no, we have family going to Purdue. Yeah, too. we both that went helps. to IU, but family everywhere. <laughs> My daughter's still out there. Oh, nice. If you want oh, two, really? we give you two for fifteen. Cool. And then, so that was you said twenty-five, 25 on that. Twenty-five of those. That's the whole set. Yeah. So that's four. five, six, seven, eight, nine pitching wedge, sand wedge. Cool. So with that forty total. Yeah. IU, we're not good at math. We're not the engineers. <laughs> we try. <laughs> my, brother, my brother was a big IU fan when he lived, when he lived down south. Now he lives up in LaPorte. Yeah, that's oh, why yeah. my family is still close to IU. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. I'll get the heavy stuff. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good day. You too. I think we might get you this year in basketball, but our football team is pretty terrible. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's never going to happen. <laughs> Oh yeah. Thank you. 
AutoZone bucket. Ladies golf gloves, here we go. I think they're the Wilson profiles. Golf clubs in a bucket, round two. Literally the only golf club that we've ever found worth buying in a bucket was a Scotty Cameron, so I still have to look. Oh no, my luck is changing. Got an Odyssey, white hot, a ping grip. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. There's some golf shirts. Oh, okay. Some is in there. Cool. Nobody needs them, and there's shirts here. The How much are your golf clubs? The putter is 50. 50, okay. They sell for 150. Those are 25 each. Cool. And there's a bunch of golf balls down there. Oh, nice. Cool. Six dollars a dozen. There's six, uh, flip shirts on, Callaway, and Titleist. So, 100 total. You think you can make us a deal if we got all three of these ones? Seventy-five. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah, we can just make it eighty. That was a good deal. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoy. No shirts, right? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness! Absolutely mint center shaft original two ball. That is. That's crazy. Bought a bag from them last year. Yeah, there's a. I can't remember what it was. It was a really nice bag. It's like a stay dry but cart bag Titleist, which are kind of hard to find. Oh, McGregor V foils, a whole set. Oh my goodness. Good morning. Good morning. Run, run. Bargains today. Whole Come. set is $15. $15? Bag and all. <laughs> Now they're they're older clubs, but they're, they're a good good brand. And I remember when these came out, I was I wanted them very badly. <laughs> <laughs> I like that price better though. I have the uh, driving iron of uh, this. Oh okay. Oh okay, yeah, you do. Yeah. All right. How much do you want for that, and then this one too? Those were five bucks a piece. Okay, so twenty total. Yeah, that'd be good. That is the deal of the day. <laughs> right. Well, I did this. They just got the. The grips are good now, but they keep sitting down here. They just yeah, they just rot away. Oh right? yeah. And so and I, and I, they have I can't I can't hit them. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> so, Thank you very much. I got a garage full of those. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. They only work that until after you pay for them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the launch monitors they have in stores now, I swear, they're like set like you're playing in Denver. They go uh -huh. 30 oh. yards further. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Sure. Oh my goodness, V-foils, a full iron. set of V-foils. Yeah, the driving iron is still in my bag after like, how long have I had that thing? Probably one of the longest things in your bag. <laughs> yeah, that might be. Oh my goodness. That has some friends. Yeah. I get very excited about strange things, but <laughs> this one might be uh, pushing it, even for me. It goes all the way down, does it seriously go all the way down to the sand wedge? We have the uh, 60 degree of the V-foil too. Uh -huh. The milled one, those things are so nice. All right, folks, made it out to the golf course. I don't know if I've ever been this excited to try out some golf clubs. We literally found a Scotty Cameron in the last video, but I am more excited about these bad boys right here. Some McGregor V-foil M455s. These and the blades, I always wanted to uh, create a little combo set. Mm -hmm. You've heard me talk about them probably a thousand times. And we've been, yeah, this is for $15. <laughs> that was great. And he knew that I was excited about that too. That was, this is, I don't even know how Speechless. to uh, put it into uh, words. You but the long iron so well. I'm so glad you finally found the whole yeah, set. Yeah, the driving iron has been in my bag for years, yeah. but uh, whew, we're gonna play a little alternate shot challenge here. If we can shoot even par or better, we'll get ourselves a little shoot. You guys know the uh, drill, but mm -hmm. whew, I am just still so hyped about that. That, <laughs> that was, was awesome. that was amazing. But uh, first hole, I, I've never even hit the woods of these to be uh, wow. honest. I've hit these irons before and they're absolutely butter and super forgiving. But the first hole here is about 300 yards. We got to carry water on the second shot. Do you want to tee off or do you want me to tee off? Uh, I think I, you can hit the driver and I'll be able to hit an iron. That's why normally I'd say I want you to hit it first, but I think that's the better move. Yeah, course I think management. course management. That's what we're known for here. <laughs> Logical decisions. <laughs> Getting super excited about $15 golf clubs. We should do a whole like uh, break my uh, best challenge with $15 clubs. That'd be awesome. <laughs> but enough talking. Let's go play some golf. Oh, that is smash right down the middle of the fairway. 
Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Well, that thing is Signer Flex, but it kind of felt like a telephone pole, but it ended up working out pretty well. Also, if this is your first time viewing the channel, I'm like a 38 candy cap. I don't even keep my score, but I'm getting better. I don't think it goes up to 38, but... That's what it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I should have like 125 yards yeah. left, so I'll probably go with the pitching wedge. Hey. It's perfect. Perfect. Oh, this sound is so good. It's right at it. Go! Go! <laughs> oh man, this is this is a nice right shot. Here. Oh man, when we were driving up to the course, I saw this pit location. I was like, that's gonna be very uh, exciting. But uh, man, that thing felt unbelievable for a game improvement iron. I don't know if I've ever felt one that feels that good. I always wanted these, like I said, the uh, M455s as the long irons, and I think it was the M675s. We'll throw up a, a photo of those. Those are some of the most beautiful golf clubs that I've ever seen. Iconic McGregor stuff. This is like the same time that they had Bobby Grace, one of my favorite putter designers of all time, but see if the uh, world's greatest putter does what she does with the uh, White House. We were gonna bring out a Bobby Grace putter, but I figured people would wanna see the, yeah. the center shaft one too. Oh man, it didn't break as much as I thought it was going to. Yeah. Well, my advice was the same as you Yeah, yours. I think we're still, uh, if we had brought out the uh, Bobby Grace, we would have uh, made it for oh, yeah. sure. Without but. a doubt. <laughs> also show that uh, where the center shaft is. Yeah. It's kind of distracting. It kind of looks like a Pac-Man. Yeah, we've ruined the uh, pink crazy putter. It looks like a guy with a uh, motorcycle. <laughs> this looks like a Pac-Man eating your shaft. Yeah, that's good. Which hot. sounds not good. We'll no. go to the next hole. <laughs> Next one. Onward. Oh, squirrel. Ah, I thought he wanted to be my friend. No, no friends today, but first nature spotting. Speaking of nature, we're at Crane's Bend, and this hole is called Woodstork, and it is an absolute beast. 184 yards, got to carry water, and it's uh, surrounded by bunkers, and then the other side is water, hence why it's hard. But I think I can get a seven iron there. Hopefully. These things are really long, so I think yeah. I should be able to get there. They're also like probably 15 years old. Mm -hmm. You just look so casual, just like lounging. Just You're like, like this is your hole, this isn't mine. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> these things are super old, but they're still super long. But oh, I think that's enough supers for one sentence. Let's go hit a super close. Super. So stressful. <laughs> well, that was exhilarating to uh, say the least. I left Ashley with a uh, pretty long putt, but whew, that was a pretty ball flight though. Yeah. yeah, I think the six iron would have been the uh, better option, but I was super confident in these things. Probably more my swing than the clubs, but let's go get Ashley to uh, make the world's longest putt. World's greatest putter, world's longest putt. I'll try. We literally had a pop-up shower in the time it took us to uh, walk to the green. And it literally slowed yeah. it down that much. That's crazy. I tried to hit that as hard as I could. <laughs> that was my fault for leaving you uh, so long. Let's see if I can't make up for it though. Okay. I started playing some groovy music at the pool. Oh god! <laughs> nice putt! Oh, I think I've taken your title for the hole at least. Uh, yes, for the hole. Yeah. You're still the world's greatest putter. <laughs> Even a blind squirrel finds a nut. Oh, you said squirrel sightings, but uh, oh, there you go. Next hole, your hole. Let's do that this. Was too much, uh, that was too much fun for one hole. Right. <laughs> All right, the next hole is a par three, 114 yards. I think I'm gonna go with an eight iron. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh man, that thing was carry forever. Got caught up in the uh, wind though. Oh, well, you haven't hit a wedge yet, right? There you go. I brought out, uh, yeah, I brought out my uh, McGregor wedge. See? Yeah, there you go. I meant to do it. <laughs> All right, we get a chance to hit the wedge. This is the McGregor V-Foil Tour. Imagine this in like a full set of uh, blades. That's basically what they look at. A matte finish and they have a milled face. Super, super nice. But uh, let's see if we can't get this one up and down. Or maybe we won't, won't need the uh, Pac-Man eating no. shaft butter. Come on, keep going. Go. Reroute. <laughs> That like, almost worked. Like, you were there. like using the force. <laughs> this is the hole you were looking right. for. Pac-Man putter for the win. Those are always the ones I get the most nervous about. I know, that's what I was just thinking. I was like, what if I miss this? Yeah. Then people will not think of the world's they greatest putter. Me. What point in life do I serve? <laughs> All right, let's go meet you with a uh, treat. <laughs> well, we'll meet you guys. I'm, we'll, I guess we'll meet each other there. We'll meet each other there, correct. There you go. Oh, the treat of the day, vanilla flavored fudge with butter fingers. It doesn't look appetizing, but it sounds delicious. Yeah, I'll let you guys comment below what you think that looks like, but hopefully it tastes better than it uh, looks. But what definitely looked in, well, we didn't taste the clothes, but I'm sure they would have tasted fine. But the uh, McGregor 
man, that was super nostalgic for me. I don't know if you guys were as excited about it as we were, but yeah. well, especially me, but we're excited for you. Yeah, you know? but uh, the, the, comment below with the clubs that like you were growing up and you like always wanted. I have like five thousand yes, of them, but those do. ones were like at the top of the list. But let's see if this is uh, that kind of looks. It looks interesting. Oh. We'll say that politely. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't have a great oh, texture. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's the whole there. thing. The whole thing right there. <laughs> Oh, wow. This is going to be... We might have to censor this. It does not look appetizing. <laughs> very gooey, but very ooey gooey good. Look how messy Oh, it man. I, th I don't think you guys need my review of uh, that. You want me to try it? I don't know how to hold the camera. Oh, now. yeah. Oh, there you go. There's my out. But hope you guys did like this video. If you did like it, subscribe in. We'll see you next time. I think we're getting close to 175,000 subscribers, all because Ashley is willing to uh, eat weird things. I do it all for you. Guys. No one cares about the golf. No one cares about the uh, golf club finds. It's all about Ashley eating weird things. Stop. We'll see you next time. Bye.